Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Be Do With The Purpose. So today I have for you guys my first fall tutorial of the season. Of course, this look is probably something I've done a million times, but I just couldn't help myself because what screams fall more than the modern renaissance palette? I'll wait. Thousand years later. Anyways, yeah, so I was super excited to play with this and create this fall look for you guys. It's just time consuming. It's not a hard makeup look. It's just really, really time consuming paired with a super nude lip. I know I'm super dewy. You guys know I have dry skin. I love to look dewy. And so without further ado, if you want to see how I got this makeup look, then just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so obviously right here, we are going to start off with primer. And all I did was take my Ulta Beauty Hydrating Primer and my Wet n Wild Rose 3-in-1 Primer Water. After I drench my face in the primer water, obviously I go in with my little fan and I just begin to fan my face. Then I'm going in with my Billion Dollar Brow Micro Blade Effect Brow Pen. And this has quickly become my most loved brow pen. I love this for really glam makeup looks. And so I just go ahead and do it the way I would with anything else. I line the bottom, line the top, and then I actually go into filling the brows in with hair-like strokes. Oh my goodness, look at this death glare. One more time with the glare just to make sure this brow gets the seal of approval and a couple more tweaks and then we are finally on to eyeshadow. So I forgot the clip where I prime my eyelids with my Catrice concealer and now I'm just going down, going in and setting down that concealer with the shade Tempura in the ABH Modern Renaissance palette and I'm just going to go ahead and set all of my eyelids with that. I don't know what happened to that clip but at this point in editing it's it's just dang near pointless to try to go back and add it in. Y'all, look at Bryson back there just big chilling looking dead at the camera. So before I got distracted with Bryson, I did start going working on my crease and the shade I took was burnt orange and I just started buffing that into the crease with my Wet n Wild blending brush and I really like this blush brush because it's nice and fluffy and it's really just going to blow that color out and just set up a nice transition shade for all the other shades we put on. Okay now going in with a smaller more precise blending brush I did take the shade Rel Relger I believe is how you pronounce it and it's just a more deeper orange a more orangey orange like a dark pumpkin orange and we're just going to go ahead and work that lower into our crease and we're just going to try to make sure that we can see this color but also still see the first shade that we put on so we get that nice transition of from shade to shade. Taking a little bit bigger of a brush, only because we're working on the outer corner, I am going to go ahead and blend out red ochre on the outer corner and up into the very lower part of our crease, and I'm using the very tip of this brush. Now, I am blending that, but like I said, I'm working that directly into the crease. It's not blowing out a little bit like the other two. This is going directly into the crease to get ready to set up for that cut crease effect. Okay, now I did do this on the other eye as well, but what I did is I took that brush that we used Relger on and started blending out that crease a little bit more. Now I'm going in with that Contrice Concealer and we're just going to go ahead and start cutting the crease. Now this takes a little bit of a process, but if you don't really know your crease, just put a little bit of concealer on your eyelids, look up, and then it'll mark it for you where you should start carving out your crease. back in with red ochre I'm gonna go ahead and just start blending out where we put that concealer just a little bit just to make sure that we don't lose that red ochre shade now working on the lid shade we're gonna go ahead and take the shade primavera and we're just going to pack that on where we put concealer just Now 
now using the Anastasia um, brush that comes in the palette, I'm taking the flat side and I'm taking the shade Venetian Red. It's a more closer shade to red ochre that's a little bit more shimmery. Just to go ahead and start blending out that harsh edge from the gold to the red ochre shade. So it just kind of gives you a nice smooth transition. Now you guys know that I love to do this and I just started working backwards from each color that I went in with and I'm just making sure that every color is blended out. And then I just went back in with that first white shade that we used to highlight the brow bone and then once again blending that out with that burnt orange shade just to make sure that there wasn't a harsh line. Now I am going to go in with my Hank and Henry eyeliner and we're just going to go ahead and do a wing with that. This eyeliner is so fine tipped and very black that this is the easiest liquid eyeliner that I have ever worked with. It makes me want to do eyeliner all of the time. Next I did go ahead and go in with my Tarte Big Ego Mascara. I actually really like this mascara. It's very nice for like more natural days. It makes your eyelashes look nice and fluffy. So very perfect for the falsies that I am going to go in with. And then like I said, I am going to do a couple of good coats of this on my eyelashes. So the falsies that I'm going to go in with are these ones that I found at TJ Maxx from the Lashes for Days line and the, the Style Wispies with my Kiss Lash Adhesive. And I did try to do some magic on this applying falsies section, which it didn't work out too well, but I hope that you guys liked it. So for foundation, I am going to go ahead and go in with my favorite foundation that I just ran out of, my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in the shade 460 Golden Beige. As always, I just dotted that around the skin and then I am going to go ahead and blend that out with my Morphe sponge. Going on with my Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer in the shade Light, I am going to go ahead and highlight the normal places underneath the eyes and down my T-zone, like literally straight down from my forehead to my chin and blending that out with the same Morphe sponge. Now going in and setting my face with my Bella Pierre setting powder in the shade Banana. I just hadn't used this powder in a while so I kind of wanted to use it on this day because I forgot how good it makes your skin look and how much I love it. So this is a powder that I did go ahead and set my entire face with. And I do a light coating. I don't pack it on. I don't bake. I literally just set my face. And I do do that with a sponge so it doesn't look too dry. Okay, so this is just me letting you guys know that I'm about to go ahead and go in and work on my lower lash line. And I'm going back in with the burnt orange, or actually with the Rilger shade. And I'm just putting that really up close to my lash line. And then I am going to go ahead and go in with the shade Red Ochre. And just pretty much the same thing. We're just going in the same order. Well, we're going backwards in the order that we did on the top eyelid. are going to go ahead and bronze up the face and I am going in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer and we're just going to go ahead and start bronzing the outer perimeter of our face. So kind of contour bronzing and then also warming up the skin at the same time. Now we are going to go ahead and start with blush on this beautiful duo fiber blush brush and I'm going on with my Tarte blush in the shade Party. 
So I just felt like it was nice and matte and neutral and really matched the eyes. And so that's what we are doing on our eyes. And then we are gonna go ahead and highlight our face. And we are using the Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade Precious Petals. And I thought that this one was perfect with the pink undertones that it had. So now we are going in with our lips. And for lip liner, I am going to use my Revlon lip liner in the shade Nude. And then I'm using two NYX liquid lipsticks, one in the shade Sandstorm and one in the shade Ruffle Trim. Okay, so I do go ahead and start with the first liquid lipstick in the shade Sandstorm. And then I am gonna go around the outer edges of that with the shade Ruffle Trim. Oh, she cute, cute. Y'all, I am so funny. I really thought I was done and I was about to start posing for y'all and then I was like, wait, hold up. So I do go ahead and go in with my Wet n Wild setting spray and then I spray my sponge with a little bit of the e.l.f. glowy dewy mist and I am going to just push that in to my face and then of course, you know, gotta whip out the yellow fan so that way we can dry all of this spray. Okay, so now we are officially done with the makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you try this look. Tag me in pictures on social media. But yeah, just always remember that I love you guys, but Jesus loves you more, and I will see you guys in my next video.